learning, creating, celebrating. The second Monday of October is Indigenous Peoples Day. COCC organized a set of events to honor the holiday. Gabrian Hall hosted a lecture about the strength and resilience of Native people. There's a misperception that, you know, Natives have been completely either assimilated or eliminated. And we haven't been either of those things. She believes education is the most powerful tool. To be able to kind of flip that narrative and show the traumatic and dramatic history of Native peoples, it gives you a better understanding of how strong we have been to endure those things. Geneva Mayall organized a bead making workshop where students could sign up, learn the arts technique, and take home a beaded rope as their own. She believes support through events like this one helps Native people better identify with the date on the calendar. It used to be more widely celebrated as Columbus Day. It's important to take back this day as well um, because, you know, this used to be a different holiday and so it means a lot that we can actually honor this as Indigenous Peoples Day instead. To her, today's celebration helps pass on support and positivity. I always am thinking about like what's going to set up the next generation um, to feel safe and welcome and so it makes me feel really good to see the community build as these events continue each year. More and more people are interested in learning that history and that's what I've found through doing these presentations is they leave with a, how could I not have known that? And then they take the initiative to start to learn, which is great. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from Central Oregon Daily News. And for more news from the high desert, just visit centraloregondaily.com.